your average business, malicious users have been infecting IoT devices and creating IoT botnets. Much like a normal botnet, an IoT botnet is a pool comprised of a vast number of infected devices that can be used for nefarious purposes, such as leaking data, taking down your network, or even attacking another institution, potentially leaving you liable for the damages. A few notable examples of botnets include Kraken and Mirai. In the Kraken botnet, around 500,000 devices were controlled, compromising 10% of all Fortune 500 companies. Each bot had the ability to send 600,000 emails per day, resulting in 300 million emails worldwide. Kraken could conduct denial-of-service attacks, send phishing emails, and ruin your company's reputation. Now, an infected IoT bot can usually be fixed if the device is known to be infected. All one must do is reboot the device. Unfortunately, it is unlikely for an enterprise's IT department to even realize that one of their devices, or even a device an employee or visitor brought into their network, has become part of a botnet. Worse still is the recent emergence of IoT botnet attacks that can survive reboots. A very recent example is one called VPN Filter. VPN Filter is an attack that has already infected over 500,000 devices that may be turning against your business right now. First off, let's look at a diagram that demonstrates this attack. As you can see, this malware works in three stages. On the left, you have stage 1. The goal of this stage is simply to survive reboots while trying to determine the IP address of the server which hosts the stage 2 malware. The stage 2 malware communicates with the command and control server and can collect data and run commands on the infected unit. Worse still is that the stage 2 malware is capable of self-destructing and rendering the infected device unusable by corrupting its firmware. As you can see in the diagram, there also exists a stage 3 malware which enables even more functionality such as packet sniffing. However, we could use custom alarms or Nixon's network search engine to discover the vulnerability. Let's run through the steps it would take to equip your network against VPN filters. Let's take a look at our VPN filter detection report on our Nixon device and see if we can figure out what devices on our network have been compromised. With just a single click, we can see that the Nixon has indeed detected VPN filter malware on this network. Not only do we see blacklisted domains and a suspicious user agent, we can see a critical event which flagged one of the URLs that leads to the download of Stage 2 malware. In literally seconds, we now know that this malware exists on our network. On the same screen, we can also easily determine every unit that's infected. This is based on who visited the blacklisted domains. Our IT department can now quickly prune these devices off the network until they have been patched, effectively saving your organization from a potential denial of service or otherwise rogue botnet. But what if the intelligence community had not yet updated their feeds to look for VPN filter? Well, Nixon's got you covered in that case, too. Let's take a look at how we would set up custom alarms across our single site, regional, or even global network. The first thing we want to do is set up new intelligence feeds based on new data. There are several out-of-the-box feeds, such as AlienVault or Malware Domain List, that will typically cover your bases. But with such a recent attack, the data might not yet be available right away. In this case, you can very easily create new intelligence feeds by uploading a file with the IOC information. As you can see here, we have all the IOC information in text files ready to upload. Now, we can click on Add and choose File as the source. We will now quickly make feeds for domains, IPs, and MD5 hashes respectively. Now, we will detect any of these IOCs on our network. I have enabled alarms for intelligence feeds so that we will get alerted as soon as a blacklisted source or object is detected on the network. I've also created new line rate IDS, anomaly, and content alarms in a VPN filter specific custom policy. These alarms look for the URLs and user agents associated with the VPN filter malware, as well as behaviors such as scanning for certain ports. Now let's take a look at our VPN filter detection report with the newly updated alarms to see what we get. Great, we got the exact same results as what the automated feeds were able to give us. Once again, the Nixon is able to detect every single infected device on our network. We can quickly shoot our IT department the Nixon URL to log in and see what we see, or we can simply export the list of compromised devices so that they can isolate them, patch them, and ultimately, better secure our network. And don't forget, all of this can be automated using the Nixon. IoT malware can hide in plain sight on your network, infecting your devices and turning them into bots. This is especially true for complex, multi-stage malware such as VPN filter. However, Nixon makes it extremely easy with intelligence feeds, robust line rate alarms, and 100% visibility into your network. With the Nixon, it took us just a single click to get all the information we needed to protect ourselves from a potentially very dangerous botnet attack. Indeed, this was the exact way that Nixon saved many Fortune 500 companies from ransomware that mirrored the recent attacks such as WannaCry or Petya. A list of all compromised devices was made in record time and all infected machines were pruned off the network. 
saving each company thousands of computers and millions of dollars. If you would like to learn more or want to schedule a demo to see Nixon's products and how they can help you with your most important threats, contact us today at info at Thanks for watching.